Number six, we are going to identify which of the following graphs right here could be the graph for y is equal to a times sine theta, and theta is the angle between 0 to 2 pi, because you know 3.14 is pi, 6.28 radians is just 2 pi radians, okay? And then right here, he says a is just a constant, unfortunately it does not tell us if it's a positive or negative constant, so I want to show you guys both situations and then we'll pick out the best answer from these answer choices. And we'll start off by reviewing what's the graph for the original sine theta. And to do this, I would like to bring up the unit circle again for you guys. So here is my unit circle. And I'm just going to label this as the zero radians, and this is the pi over two, right? And then this is the pi, and this is the three pi over two, right? Just like in the previous video, we have talked about that sine is the y value on the unit circle. I want to label this point here, this point, this point, and this point, because it's going to give me the crucial points, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, and 0. This will be enough to have a good sketch of the sine function. So let me do that right here for you guys. I would like to label here we have the 0, and then the pi over 2, then we have the pi, and then we have the 3 pi over 2. At the end, I want to stop at 2 pi, which is the same as, as 0, because you rotate it back to the original. So, sine is the y value, cosine is the x value. Here, sine of 0 is 0, because the y value of this point is 0. So we begin by putting down this point at 0, 0. Then, when theta, the angle is pi over 2, we are coming up at this point, and the y value here is 1. So let me just first label that on this axis here. This is my 1, and likewise I'll label this right here as my negative 1. I will have the point pi over 2, comma 1, right? And then continue, we have pi, and then the y value here is 0, so I have this right here, and 3 pi over 2, the y value is negative 1 on this point, right? At the end, once we get back here, which is, once again, the 2 pi, the y value is, again, 0. And then we can connect the dots with a nice sine curve. It's just like a wave. The key point here is that sine starts with 0, 0. All right. For the rest, I will just show you guys the sketch. So. Let me show you what if I have y is equal to, I don't know what a is, let me just show you an example. I want to say if I have 2 times sine theta, let me show you what will this positive 2 do to the graph. Well, let me get the axis ready. And then here's the key point. Originally, when you have y is equal to sine theta, you can imagine that I have 1 right here, isn't it? So I can put down 1 in front of the sine. And then you see that the graph goes up to 1, and then it goes down to negative 1. Likewise, once we have the 2 here, we are just going to go up all the way to 2, and then go down to negative 2. Okay, so this is what the number in front of the sign do to the graph. So, I will start with 0, 0 again, and then I'm just going to go up to 2, and then go down to negative 2, and then go up. To 0. This is from 0 to 2 pi, like this. That's all. And as you can see, you have the answer choice A in front of us. This one, it goes from 0 to 3 and then down to negative 3. So you know this, in fact, it's a graph for y equals to 3 times sine theta. And in fact, this will be the answer to our question. Unfortunately, it doesn't indicate that if the A is positive or negative. But this is the best answer among all this. Choice B is not the answer because it does not start with 0, 0. Choice C is not the answer because it goes up like twice, right? And then choice D does not start with 0, 0, so that's not the answer. Likewise, at the end, choice E, it also does not start with 0, 0. So A has to be the answer that we have. Anyways, I will finish this up by showing you guys in blue, what if we have y equals to negative 2 times sine theta, and let me get the axis ready here. In our case, when we have negative 2, I still have to go up to 
past D2 and then go down to negative 2. Then for sine graph, I still start with 0, 0. But then instead of the earlier situation where we go up first, right? This time, when we have a negative value in front of a sine theta, we have to go down first and then go up and then go back down. It's just a reflection of this one. So we get this the upside down version. Okay, so this is what happened when you have a negative in front of the sine theta. And you see, none of this graph looks like this. So that's why I said choice A is the best answer among all. That's it. That's it.